Hello everybody, in today's video I'm gonna show you how to make a racetrack in Blender and it's really simple, yeah the modeling is simple, the materials are simple, so yeah let's head right into it. So in the beginning we delete everything and add a plane, scale, scale it on the y-axis, something like that. And then we're gonna model one segment of the track, so first we're gonna delete one side and then we're gonna start here. So yeah, now we're gonna do the, the curbs. And one more part right here. Scale on the X axis a little bit. So that's the main street. Those segments will be the curbs and those will be like some white lines, like white asphalt. And yeah, now to model the curbs, we're gonna go into this view and extrude it on the Z axis and scale it on the Y axis a little bit. Maybe bring it a little bit down like that. And now let's go into edge select mode and extrude those edges in Z direction and also scale it on the Y axis. And now we're gonna delete those two faces and then make these faces. That doesn't work. Yeah, like that. And fill these parts. And now we're gonna move those two, f um, two edges in X direction and probably also scale the whole thing on the Z axis a little bit. So that was not too difficult. Um, now to, to build the entire track, we're first gonna add a mirror modifier on the Y axis, like that. And now an array modifier on the X axis and yeah, that's perfect. So now we can have our track like this and yeah, can make it as long as we want. And yeah, but we don't want a complete straight track, but we want to have a track with uh, curves. So we're gonna move into the top view and add a curve, a Bezier curve, and then edit it in the curve edit modes. Yeah, probably make a curve like this. I like that. And now we're gonna add a curve modifier to the to the track and select the curve we just created. And then we can adjust the length with the count of the array. Just like that. So yeah, I like that shape now. And now we're gonna head over to the shading tab for some materials. So we're gonna use the cycles render engine and for the for the lighting i'm gonna use a sky texture with like a strength of 0.1 i think that works pretty well yeah i like that and now for the basic asphalt material i'm gonna use a gray color yes let's name that asphalt and um take a high roughness like that and now we just have to play a little bit with the displacement. So we're gonna add a noise texture. Um, if you have Node Regular enabled, you can go Control Shift and click, and you have have that. Then press Control T, and then you can choose uh, the mapping mode. I'm gonna go with object because it always works pretty well. And then let's crank up the scale. Yeah, pr probably a little bit lower. But yeah, something like that. And now we're gonna use a displacement node and put that into the height. And put that into the displacement of the material output. And now, yeah, uh, no, and yeah, the base color, like that. And yeah, that's our 
material now the, the, the displacement is very strong let's put it to something like point, point zero 0.02 yeah that's better and now for the white asphalt we're just gonna duplicate the asphalt material name it and just adjust the color and now we're gonna apply that material to the parts that we want to have white like that and now we're gonna create a curve material uh, a curb material um, like that also set the roughness a little bit higher make that a little bit darker and now apply that one to the parts of the curve that we want to have white and now let's make a new material for the red curves like that and adjust it as well make it nice and red and now assign it and that's basically it so if you like the video please uh, subscribe to my channel and give it a like and yeah we'll probably see each other in the next one bye bye